King Charles is going even more green in 2025. Indeed, the King's two state Bentleys will be converted to run on biofuel within the next year as part of a wider sustainability push. Longer term, the plan is to switch to a fleet of official fully electric cars. And we know this because the annual accounts for the Royal Household, published on Wednesday, revealed a string of new, more environmentally friendly measures. And it does seem like a good fit since King Charles has been campaigning for decades and decades on climate issues. But the latest accounts, of course, cover the first full financial year of the King's reign and they indicate that he is determined to do things differently. It also goes on to say that Windsor Castle will be fitted with solar panels for the first time while the gas lanterns at Buckingham Palace are being repurposed with specially designed electrical fittings to improve their energy efficiency while keeping their historical look and glow. So Michael Stevens, the keeper of the Privy Purse, said the environmental initiatives were driven by a determination to place sustainability at the heart of our operations and inspired by His Majesty's leadership in this sphere. King Charles has previously said that people thought he was, quote, completely dotty when he started talking about environmental issues in the 1970s, but it is great to see that they are coming into force in his kingship. The accounts also reveal the royal household would take delivery of two new helicopters over the coming year to replace the existing 15-year-old helicopters, and they said it was a key component, meaning that the king and the royal family are able to carry out their engagements. And indeed, these helicopters are quite good to access really remote regions of the UK that a plane couldn't get to and that would take ages by car and it is good to see that these new helicopters will hopefully um, open up some more efficiency with that as well. So this is amazing to see King Charles increasing the environmental sustainability of the royal family. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below.